the demographic of people I'm trying to hit, or who I want to be able to relate to the song, or um, what genre of music it falls under. For me, when I sit down and I write a song, the only person that I'm thinking about in that room, the only person I'm thinking about is the person that I'm writing the song about, and what I want them to know, and what I wish that I could tell them to their face, but I'm gonna say it in a song instead. So for me, music is really more about a diary and it confession, you know? So I love it. I love getting to say things to people that I wouldn't say to them um, if I was standing face to face with them. For me, music is a way of, of verbalizing those things that I feel that I can't say. Hey, okay. Which Kendrick song do you relate to most and why? Um, what song do I relate to most? I have favorites. Um, my top favorite country songs are um, Run by George Strait or um, You Were Mine by the Dixie Chicks or Faith Hill, Breathe, and This Kiss. You just spent the day with fans. What was the craziest or most creative thing they got to sign or question you? Oh, wow. Um, you know, as far as like the creative things they bring to sign, um, I've had a lot of interesting things, like a turtle shell. <laughs> it's just with my face painted on it, by the way. <laughs> that was the winning touch. But today, I mean, they just, I, what blows me away about my fans is that they know me so well, and they get me awesome presents. They get, this girl brought me this bracelet, and I really like it. Um, and a lot of the jewelry that I wear, or you know, the things that you'll see me wearing are fan gifts, because they're so awesome. They give me great presents. <laughs> hey, Taylor, as I've walked around the streets over the past few days, I've seen thousands of girls from little bitty up to much, much older running around in the sundresses and the cowboy Yes! <laughs> Awesome. You know, I wasn't trying to start um, anything. I wasn't really trying to make people dress a certain way, but seeing girls come to my shows wearing sundresses and cowboy boots and curling their hair is one of my favorite experiences ever because I remember when I was weird for dressing the way that I dressed and I was weird for having curly hair and <laughs> it's really fun to see that I'm not that weird anymore. <laughs> Last question. I'd like to go back to Neil's comment about you going 100 miles an hour. What do you do to keep from burning out? As far as burning out, you know, I get tired a lot, but I never get tired of it. Because for me, I remember when I was a little kid, and I used to sit there and, and think about how lucky I would be if someday people cared about the words that I wrote. Or how lucky I would be if Someday I was just walking through the mall and saw some little girl walking by with my face on her shirt. And when you spend so much time daydreaming about things like that, when that actually happens, you don't ever complain about it, you know? It's like, when I go to a restaurant, yeah, I know that a line is probably going to form in front of the table, but didn't I always used to wish for that? Yeah, I did. So it's like, I never want to be the girl who wanted something so bad her whole life, just wanted one thing, and then gets it and complains about it. I'm not going to be that girl. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. Hey, I'm from the Hi, I'm from the I thought we were I thought we were